Item number, SCP-4113, Object Class, Hera, Hostile, High Utility, Special Containment Procedures. If encountered, SCP-4113 is to be considered hostile. Capture of the object is of paramount importance given the potential utility of its anomalous technology to the fleet. No less than three Varuna-class vessels must be utilized in capture of the object. Description: SCP-4113 is a long ship of ancient Nordic design. SCP-4113 is capable of reaching 99.9999938% the speed of light. SCP-4113 is 174.3 feet or 53 meters long and 26 feet or 8 meters wide and contains approximately 220 rowing benches. SCP-4113 is capable of retaining a replenishing pocket of atmosphere around itself at all times. SCP-4113 has a capacity for 340 crew members. SCP-4113 also has a number of devices installed along its structure of unknown purpose. SCP-4113's crew show no signs of age despite the length of their time in space and do not appear to suffer from the ill effects of long-time radiation exposure. Discovery 126 days after the exodus from Soul System, Marin Aspic of the Mobile Foundation Orbital Research Compound 07 detected a high-energy gamma flash approximately 16 light minutes away from the UEF. Palace Athena 9 was notified via radio and the FSF delivery was dispatched to investigate the source of the wave. As SCP-4113 was approached, it reduced its velocity and turned to meet the delivery. However, SCP-4113 possessed primitive means of communication and no contact was made. After 2 hours and 36 minutes, SCP-4113 turned back and resumed its previous course. Telemetry data indicated a course for Sol. As SCP-4113 accelerated away, it emitted gamma radiation in increasing amounts. It is believed that this is a result of the object impacting interstellar hydrogen at appreciable fractions of C. Addendum 4113.1 what little identifying data was able to be gathered from SCP-4113 indicated that the figurehead of the object was carved in the guise of Groa, an individual described in the Poetic Edda. Documents from Pallas Athena's library have shown a strong resemblance between the figurehead and artistic depictions from the Lay of Svip Daga. The Lay of Svip Daga is a pair of poems describing an individual who must travel to Jotunheim. The timing of this myth's creation ties strongly with a loose collection of historical records identifying an individual as Svip Dog, who was the youngest son of the petty king of Uppsala in 1011. Several historical records indicate that Svifdag began work on the largest longship ever constructed in 1012. No historical records exist of either that individual or the ship after 1013. Addendum 4113.2 197 days after initially encountering SCP-4113, a similar high-energy gamma flash was detected behind the UEF. After an additional two days, SCP-4113 was detected on long-range visual sensors and the FSF delivery was dispatched with Dr. Malcolm Page, an expert on Old Norse culture and language from Pallas Athena 7. When approached, SCP-4113 again slowed and turned to face the approaching ship. Dr. Page was outfitted with an exosuit and the delivery made a close pass in order to facilitate his transport to SCP-4113. Upon entering SCP-4113's atmospheric envelope, he drifted down onto the deck of SCP-4113. He was then stabbed multiple times by SCP-4113's crew. Following this, he was stripped of clothing and equipment. His body was then thrown behind the ship where it drifted out of the atmospheric envelope. SCP-4113 then approached the delivery. The delivery turned and burned back towards the UEF with SCP-4113 in pursuit. After several close passes, the FSF delivery opened fire on SCP-4113 with its onboard coil guns. Though SCP-4113 suffered no damage, approximately 30 of its crew members were killed in this attack. After this opening volley, SCP-4113's crew threw a large number of axes and spears at the delivery. The delivery suffered heavy damage, its outer shell was pierced in several locations. The delivery's crew equipped their remaining exosuits and directed sustained fire at the deck of SCP-4113. This directed fire was effective in clearing SCP-4113's deck. Though the invulnerable nature of the craft itself shielded approximately 40 of SCP-4113 crewmen from the delivery's weapons. At this point, due to damage sustained, the delivery no longer moved under its own power. SCP-4113 maintained a parallel heading. As a consequence of the delivery's failing life support systems, Captain Chance Sarage ordered his crew to board SCP-4113. He hoped to use SCP-4113's atmosphere to prolong their window of rescue. Upon landing on the deck of SCP-4113, the crew members were attacked by the remaining members of SCP-4113's crew. The delivery's crew used their handheld plasma lances in melee with SCP-4113's crew. Archie Flett, the ship's mechanic, Irina Bogomolov, navigator, and Lawrence Woodall, the medic, were killed during this fight. 
Captain Serge and a single enemy combatant survived the encounter and were still engaged in combat when the FSF Hermes arrived. Captain Serge then fled SCP-4113 and was rescued by the Hermes. The Hermes towed the delivery back to Pallas Athena's space dock. SCP-4113 did not follow. Upon returning to collect the bodies of both crews, SCP-4113 was no longer present. A gamma flash was detected approximately 15 light minutes away. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button, and if you'd like, support me on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. And if you'd like to get immediate updates for when I post videos, check me out on Twitter at dsumerian. Thanks for watching.